Hi guys, this is Teacher Jen and welcome to my channel. Ngayon, tatalakay naman natin on how to reduce a fraction to lowest term. I will be showing you two methods on how to reduce uh, this fraction into lowest term. So, una, hanapin muna natin yung greatest common factor ng 12 and 15 by listing down all the factors. So, when we say factors, ito yung mga numbers that we multiply to get the product. For example, we have here the 12. So, ano yung mga factors ng 12? So, we have 1 times 12, 3 times 4, and then ilista natin ang lahat ng factors here from the least to the greatest. So we have 1, then we have 2, 3, then we have 4, next is 6, next is 12. So, bilugan natin lahat ng common factors. So, we have here 1. These are common factors. We have 3. So, the common factors are 1 and 3. So, ano dito yung um, mas malaki? Ang 1 or 3? Okay, 3. So, our GCF is 3. Since nakuha na natin yung GCF, which is 3, the next step is divide natin yung numerator and denominator by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, this fraction is already in lowest term. Kasi wala na ibang uh, factor na maka-divide ng 4 and 5 except 1. Okay, let's proceed to the next method which is continuous division. So, I'm going to list down here 12 and 15. Tapos mag-draw tayo ng parang letter L. So, ano yung number that can divide 12 and 15 except 1? So, we have 3. Okay. So, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Okay. Meron pa bang number na pwedeng makadivide sa 4 and 5? Okay, wala na. Of course, except 1. So, this is our final answer. The 4 will be our numerator and 5 will be our denominator. Okay, I'll give you another example. 16 over 24. So, isulat natin 16 and 24. So, ano yung pinakamaliit na number, of course, except 1, that can divide 16 and 24? So, 2. Since 16 and 24 are even numbers, so they are divisible by 2. So, let's divide. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. Okay, meron pa bang number that can divide 8 and 12? Okay, yes. We have... Again, 2. 
So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Then let's continue dividing since they are still divisible by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So stop tayo pag wala ng number that can divide 2 and 3 except 1. So by the way, para makuha natin yung GCF, we have to multiply the uh, numbers here. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So our GCF is 8. So we'll divide it here. 16 divided by 8. So 6 uh, is equal to 2, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So the answer is 2 thirds. So ito yun siya. So itong 2 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator. Okay, let's have a recap of what we discussed today. So how to reduce a fraction to lowest term. Number 1, find the GCF. Use either distinct method or continuous division. Number two, divide the numerator and denominator by its GCF. Then num number three, a fraction is in lowest terms when the GCF of its numerator and denominator is one. Kung may mga tanong kayo or kung may gusto pa kayong malaman about fractions, just leave a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe.